All right. Well, good morning and good afternoon, everyone, wherever you are logging in from. Welcome to our very exciting uh, webinar today about our text to give product here at Applos. This is an exciting day at Applos to, um, to launch a new product uh, designed for you, our customers, or you potentially our customers if you are just checking us out. Uh, my name is Dan Kimball. I am a product specialist here at Applos and it's my pleasure to walk you through this webinar. And what we're going to do today um, is we're going to um, kind of tell you a little bit about the product. I'm going to kind of give you an overview and then actually uh, kind of already shot a in-product demo just to show you what it looks like in real time. So um, hopefully this is, um, this is going to really benefit your organization, increase your giving, make, uh, make your process a lot easier. Um, before we get uh, into the product itself, though, I do want to kind of ask you guys a few questions, kind of figure out uh, where you, uh, what direction you're coming from. So first thing I want to know is when are you planning on utilizing text to give for your organization? I'm going to share those results for you guys. So it looks like about half of you that are attending are, are really excited, really anxious to, to get going on this soon, which is uh, great news because uh, it's going to happen very soon. So. We're excited about that. Let's ask you another question here. Uh, what is your biggest question about text to give uh, How do I get my members to use it? Will there be an increase in transaction fees? And is it difficult to set up? We'll address all of those uh, very, very quickly. All right, let's share those results with you, with you guys here. So it looks like a good majority of you guys are worried about those increase in transaction fees, and there's not going to be an increase in transaction fees. Um, those are going to stay the same with WePay, which we'll talk about. Um, so with that, let's go ahead and jump right in and, and talk a little bit about text to give But one of the reasons we're super excited about this product is that, one, you guys, our customers, have been asking for it. But also, it really puts one more um, awesome tool in your Applos toolbox. As you probably know, we started as a fund accounting product. And over the last couple of years, we've grown into a people management, donor management, church management, nonprofit management, including giving you tools like budgets and um, being able to track donations, projects, groups and teams. We've added an event tool, and now this is just one more tool in your toolbox. So one of the, our goals as a, as a company is to really make, um, first of all, your giving and fund accounting process easy, but also have everything in one place so you don't have to go out and get three and four different subscriptions to run your nonprofit church or ministry. So that's one of the things that um, really excites us about that. So with that, text to give it's going to be a way for you to um, equip those tech-savvy donors, those youngins, or even those olders that are ready to, to speed up that process. Um, as you probably know, a lot of people don't carry cash or checks anymore. Doing things by phone, including shopping, is really where um, a lot of things happen. Um, so what's great about this is, is you'll be able to receive unlimited gifts uh, by text message through a toll-free number that you're going to be given uh, when you sign up for the product. It's one number, one time that's given or signed to your organization. Um, you can do this as a one-time gift, or you can also set up reoccurring gifts just like you do your, your online donations um, through, uh, through Applos. Um, you'll be able to create these what we call short codes, uh, so it makes it really easy for donors to give to a specific purpose. So I'm going to show that you uh, show that to you in the product uh, or in the in the software. Uh, but as an example, you might have a purpose called uh, the Christmas Gala 2019. Well, you don't want people to have to text that, so we're going to be able to create a short code such as Gala, and you'll be able to say Give Gala, and boom, you're ready to go. So. And again, we're going to show you all of this. I'm just kind of giving you some, some highlights. Um, and then, of course, transactions are automatically tracked for those contribution statements. Again, the, the, big, uh, the big plus, the big benefit here is if this is a new donor to your organization, the software is going to capture that gift and also add that donor to your contact list. If it's an um, existing donor um, or, or member of your organization, it's just simply going to add to their, to their gift in the software, which is awesome. This is a great option for churches. Um, about half of our customers are churches. The other half are nonprofits. So some of you might know that um, this is a great way to respond right there in the services. So um, I know that a lot of folks, you can just simply by putting up a slide and saying, give right now, give today. Um, uh, so it's, a, it's an awesome option for churches. Um, you can also use it outside of church uh, events, such as um, at a missions meeting or special cause or fundraising event. Um, 
for those of you who are, who are nonprofits, awesome way to um, attract um, uh, or attract donors um, at events themselves. I was at an event not too long ago um, that was a fundraiser for a local nonprofit, and that's what we did is they asked us to pull out our phones and start making donations right then and there, and they made it very easy to do. So i um, super excited. Um, lots of different options that you can go about using this. Uh, it's just simply by generating a phone number and whatever instructions you want to utilize. So you're going to be able to promote that phone number uh, on your website, social media pages, uh, email campaigns, which, by the way, you can do in Aplos, um, and anything, um, any way that you want uh, donors to uh, get involved. It's just simply getting that number, which is assigned to you. So it's really easy to use. Um, like a lot of our product, we do try to make it a simple setup process. So there's three ways to tell your donors um, how to text to give. The big thing is you can just say text give, um, and they're going to get a response back. Uh, the software is going to um, easily uh, interact with that donor, how much you want to give, so they can give a spe specific amount, like give 25, um, or you can give to a specific perfect purpose, <laughs> give 25 missions, something like that. And again, we're going to show you that in the in the product here in a couple of minutes. But it's, um, again, just kind of showing you how easy it is, um, and it, it doesn't require a lot of, a lot of um, typing into your phone, which some people get concerned about. So um, a new text uh, that uh, w for the very first time, the donor is going to be asked to set up a one-time um, payment method. So what, what's going to happen is when they text give for the very first time, they're going to be sent to a screen where they can um, put in their details, their name email address and their credit card info. Again, that's a one-time setup. Then moving forward, each time they give, they just simply have to give in, um, type in a give or the or the purpose code that um, we've already talked about and we'll continue to talk about. One key thing here that's really um, going to be critical is when they set up for the very first time, they're going to be given the, um, they're going to be required to put in a default purpose. So for example, if they put general, and then moving forward, every time they give, it'll automatically go to that general fund or general purpose unless they type in that other code. So you'll, you'll have a default, but then you'll be able to override that. Again, if you're just logging on a little late, we are going to show you, I'm going to show you a video here in just a few minutes of kind of in real time how this product um, works in the software. Um, so when the donation's made, the, 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 the donor's going to receive a confirmation text immediately. Uh, it's going to look just like what's on the screen here, something like, thank you for your gift. Uh, and then at that point in time, they do have the ability to undo that gift. They have 15 minutes if they change their mind or maybe want to give more because you are such a compelling speaker that uh, you convince them to uh, give more. Um, or they can also make it a recurring gift just by simply typing in undo. It'll undo the gift or reoccurring. It'll send them to a screen where they can set up a recurring gift. It's a great way to raise additional dollars for your church, ministry, nonprofit, organization, membership-based organization, whatever you are, whatever hats you wear out there. Um, so the donor will also receive an email receipt within 30 minutes. So whatever email they're using, uh, they'll get a nice uh, receipt from your organization as well. So they're going to see it on their text, then they're going to see it in their email, and then you will um, that uh, donor and donation will automatically be tracked in the Aplos software. Um, if you're already using our online donation processing system through WePay, it's going to work very similar. So, again, we've talked about purposes in Aplos. You, uh, you create purposes, which are the areas of your nonprofit that people give to. You're simply going to um, just take those purposes that you already have or add new purposes and then give those a code. So you can see some examples here. Um, again, if you have a long purpose, you, could just, you can just give that a short code um, and promote that, such as gala, such as shelter, such as supplies or, or whatever um, those different purposes are. If you have more than five purposes, uh, in other words, if you have a lot of purposes, what will happen is when they say when they text give, uh, it'll take you to a, a – oh, I'm sorry, it's actually ten. Um, if you have um, 10 or more purposes, what will happen is that uh, the software will take you to a different uh, screen. It will open up, and then you can select the purposes from there. So it works for regardless of how many, um, how many purposes you have. So I think one of the advantages of text to give or why we think this is such an important tool 
for you uh, to use is that um, it does build a lot of confidence in your donors. One, the donors can have control of their giving. As you probably already know, when you create or you make a donation through WePay and Applos, you have the ability to create your own online donation account or what we call a portal. You can then go in as a donor. You can automatically um, go, not automatically, you log in and you can um, look at your own giving. You can adjust your giving. You can change your credit card um, and those kinds of things. And now with groups and teams, you can also interact with our groups and teams portals all from your my applos so we're giving the donors a lot of control as well as giving them an opportunity to be um, more involved with your organization so it is a great tool in terms of uh, really um, building that confidence with your donors it's also a great way to grow your reoccurring gifts just by asking them to give monthly um, and asking them to use that reoccurring uh, tool it's a really great way to increase your giving so people don't forget uh, or you know various reasons why people um, might not give donors are three times more likely to continue giving next year when they set up monthly payments um, and it's a it's just it's a, it's a very dynamic tool for that purpose um, so just like in WePay, uh, and there the donors have the option to do it as a one-time or reoccurring so we really do want to encourage you to to emphasize that uh, that reoccurring. So let's talk about fees for a couple of minutes. Um, low fees and, and fast access to funds. Um, again, through WePay, uh, as a nonprofit, you do um, get a 2% plus 30 cents for what we call ACH or uh, using um, your uh, routing number, uh, checking account routing number, or credit debit cards, 3% plus 30 cents. It's a little bit more for American Express, uh, but we do. Um, Really feel like it's a it's a it's a great rate, and WePay has been a, a great company to work with. So um, there's fast access to those funds. WePay uh, typically will get those funds into your account within one to two business days. So um, there's going to be no additional uh, transaction fees. Um, uh, and again, it's secure, just like all of our other products. Um, I want to give give your donors that confidence that. Um, donor information is is of course uh, safe as well as that payment information we follow all the um, the high level security measures we're PCI compliant um, and we're using all the same encryption methods and security methods that the banks are so we feel a lot of confidence this is not an area that we um, don't have any doubt that you can uh, make your donors feel um, good about their out, out there there's also an easy way to do your contributions management. So te text to give will um, just add to that. Um, so through those online donations and event registration, um, those are automatically tracked in Applos, but this so will text to give. So it's gonna land on a page where you can see who gave how much and what method they gave by. In this case, it's gonna be that text to give. And we're gonna show you that um, here as well, okay? So at this point in time, I'm gonna kind of pause um, again, if you do have questions, feel free to go ahead and start typing those in. We're going to leave some time at the end for some Q&A, but we do have um, some folks here who are who are um, also standing by to answer um, questions um, as we go. But what I'm going to do at this point is I'm actually going to uh, show you a short video of, of the product and uh, what it kind of looks like in real time. Uh, so um, hopefully you'll um, be able to see uh, how you can get started. We're going to get started on that right away. So with that. All right, so at this time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually kind of walk you through the entire text to give setup process, show you how to make a couple donations via text and just kind of how the overall process is gonna work. Um, so it's a pretty smooth process. Um, those of you who are already in Applos are pretty familiar with the donations uh, button. Um, if you are on a 15 day free trial or just getting to know us, the donations area is where you're gonna start this whole process. So from here, you're gonna go to donations you're going to go right over here to online donations, and then you want to find the text to give button. From text to give, you're going to hit what we call a splash page, and at this page is where you can um, get a little more additional information. Again, there is an added price to your subscription to utilize this, pro this product. Um, if you do not have a WePay account, you're going to need to set one up. If you currently have one, then you will have a phone number assigned to your organization. So this is where you're going to get things going. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go right here. You can also do this from your um, 
your subscription uh, button. Those of you who are familiar, you can go right here and go to subscriptions and add this product there as well. So if you're thinking about it, but I'd encourage you to jump on this because um, it's a really great product. So really encourage you to sign up as soon as possible. So you want to go to add text to give. So I'm, it's adding that to, uh, to my account as an add-on. And then um, in this case, it's asking me to create a WePay account. I'm going to kind of skip over this process, um, obviously. Um, and what I can do from here is um, I can go ahead and get my number. If you already have a, a WePay account, a number will show up um, on this page. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a number. And what's going to happen is you will be assigned a unique number for your organization. And then this number is what you then will use to uh, promote your text to give program. You can, um, again, we've already talked about this in, during this webinar, but you can do this on slides, on your social media pages, website, however you want to promote um, this. From here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create some purposes. A purposes are, are what's going to allow people to know what they want to give to. Uh, these are linked to the purposes you already have set up in Applos, um, which is right up here in the purposes page. So if you go right here to add purpose, so you already have my general fund uh, purpose already set up and I'm going to go to add purpose. And again, this is looking for a list of purposes that I already have set up in the software. So if you want to create a new purpose for text to give, you want to go to your purpose area in Applos. So I'm going to go right here. You'll see here that I already have some purposes. Um, so I want to link these to the text to give program so that people can choose. Um, they can either choose a default, which means they give to the same purpose every time, or they can override that, but you got to have give them options. So we're going to go missions. And then from here, you can create a short code. A short code just is simply a way, if you have a long purpose, um, you could create a short, uh, a shorter uh, code for that. Um, so it's easier to give. So I've created a missions. So for example, I've got this holiday gala dinner 2019 set up as a purpose. Well, I don't want to have people um, text that whole line when they give. So I'm just going to say gala or something like that. So a short code is just a way to kind of shorten those, those projects or programs. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to my Ashy project. We'll call it Asher or something like that. Again, you want to remember what these codes are um, uh, so you can obviously promote those appropriately. Um, and then let's just do one more really quickly. We're going to go food pantry program and we're going to say food, something like that. So that's a short code. Um, and then um, you're all good to go. So you can always come back here and add more purposes as, as you go. Um, but again, you want to grab this phone number. And now what I want to do is take you into showing you how this works in terms of making that first donation. So what I'm going to do to, um, um, to make this demo kind of work is I'm going to jump into a, a, a Google Voice page that I have set up on my computer. Again, this is going to happen from your you know, smartphone or a mobile device. <clears throat> You're going to go right here. I grab that phone number. I'm going to create a new message. I'm going to drop in that phone number that was given to me. Okay. And I'm just simply going to type in give. This will be your very first time. There's a one-time setup that's going to need to happen. Again, I just want to verify that phone number, that 494. Yep. Oops. Let me just make sure that number is right. And I'm going to go here. Yep. Yep. There it is right there. Sorry about that. And I'm going to simply type give. I'll then get a response saying how much we'd like to give. This is the first time set up. So I'm going to say $50 at this point. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to, I'm going to be given a link to create my, my setup page for the very first time. Again, you only have to do this one time. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this as the donor. There's a couple of things that I'll um, want to highlight when, when this uh, happens. The first thing you want to do is right here, you can create what we call a default. So what can happen is I'm going to move this to general. From here, I can, um, this will be my default. So, so that each time I give, if I just simply type give and $50, it'll automatically go to general. But we'll also show you how you can override that to a different purpose. You can also make this a reoccurring gift right from here. Um, you can do that later as well. But if I wanted to just do this one time where it would just take out, you know, uh, once a month or whatever, it's a great way to do that. 
Okay, get my credit card information in there. There we go. Okay, and expiration date. For those of you that are watching this, uh, just know that this is not a real credit card number. So don't try to use it for your Christmas holiday shopping. There we go. So I'm gonna go back to my, uh, my text screen. So I'm all set up. So I've received not only a text confirmation, but when I give, I'll also receive an email confirmation with that email I've sent in. Also what's gonna happen is that if I'm not already in the Aplos contacts, um, I will be added uh, into your people section. So you um, will also then have that name and email in your contacts if I'm a new donor. So now just moving forward, I'm just going to say I'm going to give. Once again, I'm going to hit give. Now this time, it's going to again ask me how much, and I'm going to say 100. Now it's going to automatically go to that general fund because that's what I set up as my default. Okay, so I'm going to go give 100. And again, the default is where, so, so now I've received a message saying the gifts have been processed. Now from here, I also wanna mention, you can also undo this. So um, donors will have about 15 minutes to undo this gift, um, or you could also encourage them to make it a reoccurring gift at a different time. Um, so you can do this right from this screen right here, just by simply typing in undo or simply hit reoccurring. Reoccurring will take them back to that page where they can set that up. Now I wanna show you as a user what it looks like in the software. So I've made a couple of gifts. Now I'm gonna go right back to my uh, Applos page. I'm gonna to go to donations. I'm gonna to go to online donations right here and I'll quickly see, there we go. So there's my two gifts. That was my initial setup and there was my follow-up donation. They both went to general because I set those up as my default in general. The status right here, what we call cooling, this means that that's that 15 minute hold period. Um, so it's not going to process right away. It's going to sit there in this cooling period until um, and, and after that 15 minutes, the software will then move to a process. So you'll see a kind of an update of this as you as you refresh. So this is where you're going to see those donations land. Again, those of you who are already using us for online donations through WePay, it's very similar um, in that how you see this on this page. All right. Now, let's go ahead and go back to my um, to my give area. And this time I want to give to a different purpose or a different place. So this time I'm going to say, for example, give gala or give missions, you know, something like that. So I'm going to say give missions. And I'm going to go give 100. So it's always going to be generated by give. You don't need to put a dollar. Uh, you cannot put a dollar symbol in there. You don't want to do that. So the whole idea of this thing is to keep it simple. And then let's just do one more. Now let's just say, for example, that somebody messed up um, and maybe didn't get the, the get the short code uh, correct. If you go, um, you know, let's say, for example, I typed in Ashley there because I have an Asher project. And I'm, oh, it did identify it. So what you can do is if the uh, if it doesn't recognize the purpose, it'll give you a list, okay? So you can see there's a couple gifts. Again, this is where you can undo it. Um, and this is all gonna be important that you communicate this out to your donors um, as you go. It's gonna be something you can do right there in real time at your event, in, at your service, at your fundraiser, um, whatever you wanna do. So I'm gonna take you back to the online donation area. I'm gonna refresh my page. And it's going to show you um, those um, those gifts one more time. Okay, so again, default to um, a fund, and then um, and then you can use those uh, other purposes to override um, those as well. So that's how that process is going to work. It's um, it's going to it's going to be a great addition to your toolbox. I really encourage you guys to sign up, um, get this thing going um, ASAP, and uh, we will um, love to hear uh, any questions and feedback that you have. Thanks a lot. I do want to mention we have an amazing uh, support team here at Applos. Um, so as you get started, you get set up, you get going. Um, of course, this this webinar will be available for um, 
uh, recording of this for you to watch and share with other people. Um, so we'll have that um, ready for you. Um, so, but along the way, you can also start calling our support team uh, and talk to them. Um, you can call the number here. Um, I do want to say thank you um, to those of you who took the time today to um, check out this uh, to check out this new feature. We are really really excited about it. We look forward to uh, seeing you guys sign up for it, use it, and um, hopefully share the good news about Apple. So, with that, I want to thank you guys and I wish you all a great day. Thank you, everybody.